Hey, what is up, y'all? I'm back with a new video. Calling you, send me. Let me start off by saying it's been a while. I kind of stopped for a long time. But anyways, today we're going to be doing a sequel part two to what is in my softball bag because that video you guys obviously liked a lot. So... Here I am, and this is ow, and this is part two. Today I'm going to be doing what is in my softball bag at the end of my season edition. Last weekend was my last tournament, so technically my second year 16 season is over. Oh, we are over. Now I'm going to show you guys what ends up in my softball bag at the end of the season somehow. I don't know how some of it gets in there. Don't ask me. Well, I guess you could ask me, but I'm not gonna have an answer. Let's get started. These shoes on top are my volleyball shoes, but I just brought my bag in and they were next to it and I didn't want to carry them separately, so I put them on the bats. I have nothing to do with my bag. We're gonna start off with this little side pocket down here. Not much has ended up in it because I kept my phone in there like during while I was playing. The only thing that's in there is this ultra sheer face mist sunscreen. You know we gotta keep that sun away. Next we have my bat. This is the one I actually use. It is the DeMarini CF18 I think. This is the bat I use. <sighs> love her, kinda. It's a, it's a love-hate relationship. This is my old bat. I didn't use it for that long. It was also a hand-me-down for my brother's ex-girlfriend. And I also normally kept elastics like all along this part right here because I would forget them every time I went to softball. Now my helmet is just on the front and this little mesh thing. Uh, she doesn't, I don't know why my coach put up my numbers like that. It really like irked me all season. Anyways, we have a pocket up here. I'm not sure if there's actually anything in here. Oh! I found a scrunchie, and there's nothing else in this pocket, actually, but this pocket. This is my USA softball card, and the COVID was a thing, and we actually were supposed to need these to get into the games, but I never ended up actually using it. Isn't that crazy? I need a freaking card to get into my games. I don't think there's anything else in the front of this. So if you're curious, I even went out of state with this bag. I went to Tennessee with this bag, so... She's been through some things. Next we have this side, which in this little mesh pocket I have a mask and a Mentos wrapper. That is it. So basically, let me talk a little bit about my season, okay? It was rough. So I played on a new team, so they've never played together before, and he was like recruiting me and other players like brand new. And... We were registered as a 16A team, I think. We didn't end up getting very many good players, and it was kind of a rough season. And I don't think I'm going to be playing for him again. I'm not sure yet, because I haven't been to all my tryouts yet. I did have a good season, though. I played pretty good. Not really, though. Kinda. I mean, my feeling wasn't bad. I think I ended up with, like, a 700 or something like that in feeling. And my batting, I ended up with, like, to say, like, a 350 or a 400, which was pretty good. Overall, it was a pretty good season. Not gonna lie. I had some fun. Met some people. Okay, now we're gonna get moving into the main pocket, which... I have no idea what's in here. Like, I honestly don't. To start off, we got my glove. She's a baddie, whatever. She's like the cheapest Mizuno you can buy. I swear every girl has this glove at least once in their life. I kind of hate her. We're trying to get a new one, but it's okay. She's done me well. She works. The ball goes in the glove, and I can grab it out of there. So she's done me well, but she's getting pretty damn old. <laughs> There's literally fucking sweat marks on this glove. Like, there's some right there around that little thing. Like, all that right there that's dark is sweat marks. Disgusting. I'm ready for a new one. I'm not really sure how this ended up in here, but it's a disposable camera. Actually, you know, I do know because there was. I also went to Wyoming with this bag. And I had to come back. It's only like two hours from me. But I had to come back to go to my one of my close friends graduation parties and I brought I bought a disposable camera for that but because I was going like to and from softball right after and right before this is the disposable camera I took with me next is one softball there is probably at least one more in here actually I'm not sure but next we have an empty Mountain Dew bottle 
because that's my drink of choice. <laughs> that's one empty Mountain Dew bottle. Next we have a 80% drink water bottle, or Mountain Dew bottle. This is Mountain Dew Baja Blast, however. Getting real spicy up in this Izzy. We have another Mountain Dew Baja Blast bottle. <laughs> but she's empty, at least. We have a completely full bottle of water. I literally didn't even drink this at all. But yeah, this one's completely full. Next we have an empty water bottle. I, I kept myself hydrated this time. And another completely full water bottle. <laughs> I don't understand how, like, how I continuously buy water like that, but I just, like, still don't drink it. I could literally just put ice, and I would drink it. That was the cap to the Mountain Dew bottle, by the way. <laughs> we have a bottle of ibuprofen, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing left in here. There is literally one... One left in there. Because I take drugs constantly during softball because of fucking... Pain. Here's one batting glove, Marucci, just the right one because I don't really use batting gloves ever. It's one of them. And here's another one and another one. These ones are have been through hell this year from indoor practice. They've been they've been through it. They've been through the ring, huh? We have my water bottle that I literally thought I lost for like two and a half weeks. I never knew where it was and it was literally in my softball bag the entire time. We have a super, super crusty, dry frog tog or towel, whatever you want to call it. But basically it's like a cooling towel. And some ice and it stays cold and you put it around your neck and it keeps you cold for a while. I took this. I had this in Tennessee. I don't even think this is mine. I have a lid to a water bottle and another lid and a high chew. <laughs> Still in the wrapper but I don't think I'm going to eat it. And the bottom of this is literally like so dirty. There's so much dirt in there. But that is it for what's in the main part. It's now, last, certainly not least, we have the very bottom down here, and in this pocket, and behind this door. Do you see me fucking laughing, my We have my cleats, which I just bought not that long ago, and they have gold bottoms, actually. They were super shiny at first. I'll insert a clip right here of how shiny they actually were. They're not, and also they did not hold well against pitching either because there's already a freaking hole right here. They're pretty dirty already, which is kind of sad. Here's the other one. This one, however, does not have a hole in it, which makes me happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't very long or in depth, but I figured I would show you guys how different my bag ends up being, like how much shit gets put in there, and that freaking bag gets put through the ringer. Everything that honestly goes through softball season with me like gets put through the ringer. Like I give no mercy. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.